Hey there, Aquarius. Welcome to your full moon for February 27th, 2020. Uh, reading here, we're going to take a deep dive in with this reading. These have all been around an hour or over. Certainly the longest ones that I've ever done for these generals for the Zodiac. And um, But they've been really awesome, very, very multi-layered, and um, I really enjoyed doing them. So thank you for being here. Thank you for being guided here. Just to let you know that I do work with your, your direct guardian angels and archangels, the angelic realm. I am an earth angel. So that is what I tap into first and foremost. If you don't know me, I'm Infinity, a psychic, physical, empath, medical medium, astral meditation guide, channeler, um, medium. Uh, I do mediumship. I work with animals and people. I'm an ascension coach, distance energy healer. I have eBooks and I put out meditations. Those things might come up, but I'd like you to check out my website, thehealingbutterfly.org for those free eBooks about energy healing and sorry, sorry about energy, negative energy, um, clearing your energy. So there's the uh, essential empath guide with a test for you to see or a quiz for you to see where you are on the empath scale. Usually people that come um, to me and, and what I put out my channels um, are usually empaths and light workers. So I speak directly to you. You're guided to me. So the information that I have is for you. So there's lots of information on my website for you any stage of the game that you happen to be in as far as awareness or abilities with your with being an empath and um, just real quickly that is biological not theoretical or emotional to be an empath it's biological because we have much larger neurotransmitters than non-empaths and so this is something most of the world doesn't know and doesn't know about if people don't know about themselves and, and how important that is um, for a person to recognize and understand so they can live their best life. For example, I didn't know that I was a psychic, physical empath and medical medium most of my life into my 40s. And, um, and then once I connected and I got the information and I, and, and I realized, oh, I didn't have fibromyalgia because my body was a mess. I had fibromyalgia because my energy was a mess and I was soaking up the energy for of others and naturally healing through um, me being me to my detriment. And once that was all sorted out for me, I was able to dump all that negative energy, not have fibromyalgia anymore. And it's been, you know, 10 years now I heal other people. So our paradigm can definitely shift with our awareness. So the more you know, the stronger you are, especially about your own physicality and how energy works and how to heal it and clear it and uh, take care of yourself, which is those meditations that I do. They're free um, about healing the money moon, abundance and uh, clearing, uh, clearing abundance blocks, healing the money moon, getting in touch with your body and your guardian angel, um, integrating and healing the inner child are just a few that I put out in these last couple of days. And then also uh, the big one is uh, healing from fear, shame, guilt, judgment, um, using or, or from the themes of money, love, the unknown and failure. That is one of the of it's extremely potent healing um, self-healing meditation that is um, on my podcast and, on, and here on my channel. I invite you to check all of that out. So there's tons of resources that you can dive into that are totally free and um, we never have to connect. You don't have to pay anything for it. Donations are accepted, but not expected. So please partake of everything that I have to offer. And if you do want to work with me privately for private reads or energy healing or anything like that for you or your animals or your children, please reach out. And with that said, let's get going. We have um, uh, eight oracle decks, five tarot decks to choose up from. And what we've been doing for each of these reads is each one I'm using different cards for. So that's been really fun. Um, so let's let's pick our cards and get into the read. The, the two that have been staples, however, are the Moonology Oracle and the Archangel Oracle. Since I'm extremely close to Archangels, work with them, work with Archangel Raphael actually in my healings. 
which is amazing. Um, so we've got uh, Archangel Oracle and Moonology next. For Aquarius, where are we going? We have Heart of Fairy. Whoa, Heart of Fairy from um, Brian Froud. Super potent, very magical oracle. I thought we were in a nice, clean little row here. <laughs> what is the problem? <laughs> Usually scoot over all nice and. <laughs> okay. Um, feeling the wild unknown tarot. Wild unknown tarot. What was that at the bottom there? Is that the chariot? <laughs> Love that card. Okay. Let me get. <laughs> Got a couple stowaways under these other cards. What? The High Priestess being a stowaway. Oh, wow. Wow, wow, wow. Sheesh. That doesn't usually happen. <laughs> all this going on. Okay. So, Wild Unknown Tarot finally makes it its, its escape complete. Completely, and then we have whoa. <sighs> feeling the angel tarot. So this would actually make the first read without the light seer's tarot. It's the light seer's tarot. A new deck for me and I've been really into it and using it but for you Aquarius we are being guided to use um, actually the two first tarot decks that I ever got angel tarot and well first I got the wild unknown and then I got the angel tarot way back when so oh no we're using that one come back I'm putting you over here okay now that we're organized, we've got this figured out, you guys. What we're going to do is start with, let's start with the Archangel Oracle. And let's get this show on the road. Aquarius, thank you for joining me. I hope that you enjoy your time here. Like I said, these have been a deep dive around an hour or more. So feel free to pause, come back, finish it up. Um, and get the messages at your convenience. Oh, we got our first card. What do we have here? Leadership with uh, Archangel Gabriel, one of my closest, closest Archangels that I work with. It is time for you to assume your leadership power and position and lovingly guide others. So maybe we've been not, we're keeping things about ourselves, um, about spirituality, about healing, about meditation. Maybe you've been kind of keeping things on the down low a little bit. Um, or if you haven't, if you're really, if you're into it, it's time to maybe change some stuff. Maybe do things a little differently really tap into those very special things about you that make you so special and and lead from that i've been given a very very similar message <laughs> i'm to really spend a lot of time with my meditations and putting out more meditations and with my art those two things that are um, uniquely me and need to come out into the world. So that's the kind of thing to lead by example. I'm also hearing lead by example. Be, be the, um, be the energy you want to see in the world. Basically, like, uh, follow your passion, follow and, and lead from that place of soul connection and creativity out into the world. And 
that will be the catalyst for your change going forward. So our first card coming out, Archangel Gabriel. Lovely, lovely. Okay, Archangel Gabriel leadership. Next, divine order with Raguel. Everything is how it needs to be right now. Look past the illusion, see the underlying order. So um, if there's any doubts, fears about what's going on right now, Sorry, it was too loud. Uh, there, there is, there is um, divine order and timelines being woven together for your highest timelines. If you, you know, have faith in the process and don't let your vibration go low with fear, worry, anxiety, that kind of thing especially if it has to do about money. Don't let that money wound start to, you know, be, be painful for you. Um, if, if you are having anxieties about money, then please, please check out those meditations, the, the abundant, abundance blocks and um, healing the money wound and then the, the releasing and healing from fears. And Archangel Uriel, you know what you need to do. You know what to do. Trust your inner knowledge and act upon it without delay. So, so I think that we have something in common here, Aquarius, that we're kind of in that like, yeah, I think I know what I should be doing coming up here. I think I've been starting to get this information, what I should be doing coming up here and what I should release, what I should focus on, on, um, letting things play out, being patient, not being in fear, that sort of thing, whatever it is that you need to do for yourself, for the situation, that sort of thing. But I'm really feeling this is like, what do you need to change to make you feel good and better? Like that sort of thing. What needs to change? What, what steps do you need to take to clear the path ahead of you? Like that, that sort of thing. One more from the ooh, from the Archangels, again with Gabriel, coming in strong here for you guys, Aquarius, creative writing. And just to be clear, when it comes to creative writing, this could also mean um, any kind, like any kind of writing, journaling, writing a book, um, uh, writing a blog, writing about you and your story, anything like that. Make time to write down your thoughts in a journal, pen, article, or book. So for those of us that are also writers, um, it's balancing the, the writing. <laughs> so, um, so what is in that needs to come out on paper, onto the computer screen, and what, and with this leadership thing, with both of them, with both of these cards with Archangel Gabriel is um, telling us that we need to take, take that leadership role by sharing through our messages, through writing and, um, and creating. So if it's videos, it's videos that, that counts too, but it's, um, it's, being a messenger for what you have. And also that helps you, that helps others. Uh, so anything creative that, and so if it's art, if it's writing for me, it's both of those things actually. Um, so I'm being reminded by my own wonderful Gabriel here that it's not only art, it's also writing that needs to be our priority. Um, and anything in that line. And that is part of the divine order. And to do that without delay, to get on that, stop, you know, this procrastinating thing, um, because other things, we just need more structure. We need more balance as far as what, what exactly we're doing and, and taking a look at maybe if there's spaces in your life, your day, your week, your month, where there's pockets of time that you're just, that you're not, I'm not saying you have to fill fill your time with always being um, busy because that's not good either. There needs to be that balance of self-care. Um, take it from a workaholic that this this coming month, I'm really 
working on that for myself is is more of that balance and this full moon in gemini with it with our pisces season is really about that it's really about getting in touch with ourselves feeling into what we need feeling into our inner child again there's that meditation for integrating the inner child i highly recommend um it was absolutely beautiful and again i don't design the meditations i just i go into meditation and then it's typically mother earth gaia that comes in and i start seeing what she's having us do and speaking for her and what she's you know channeling her and all that good stuff so um the healing for connecting with the inner child i would say is a major priority aquarius because it really it takes you back in time it clears a lot of energy and then you integrate to really be responsible and caring for your own inner child and you being the one who is to care for that inner child now it's a very beautiful I, I literally felt the energy enter me. It was absolutely amazing. And I'm not the only one. So I really, really, really suggest that you do that. Because when it comes to leading fearlessly, leading without inhibition, leading from the heart and the soul, creating from the heart and the soul, that really to fuel that with, with a beautiful balance energy from our soul is tapping into that inner child all right into the moonology Let's see what we get aquarius for our moon what does our moon want to tell us about this moon and a, and a little beyond what are we getting into here with this moon here we go don't let your past hold you back. Don't let your past hold you back. This is South Node. Don't let your past hold you back. So if being a leader, if being creative, if, if whatever that kind of thing is, um, don't let the past hold you back. Here's another. A fiery climax approaches. So we're going to have a push in energy. That is the full moon in Aries um, a card. Actually, just got that for Aries. And I think we even got that other card too. Interesting. These last two reads Aries and Aquarius getting the same two cards. Interesting. And nothing is yet set in stone. So there's still planning going on. There's still timelines being shaped. Of course, that's always happening. But I think that has to do with this climax that's approaching. And I really think it's more about your motivation. I don't think that this, like with Aries, this was like, oh, something's gonna happen. There's gonna be some shifts, some breaks, some breakups, some, something like that. I'm not so sure that that's what this means here. I think here it means energy for you. Like, oh, here we go. This is the, this is the rush of, of energy of motivation that I needed to do these things, to do these things to do these things, to not let the past hold you back, to do these things I'm hearing over again. Like a break in the energy. For me, I really felt it with the portal on 222. That was one of our, our big things that we had. We had a lot of stuff going on uh, this past month with it, February. So uh, it was a lot of clearing energy, a lot of incoming energies to really really clear the way for us going forward, just across the board, any, any sign. Next up, a personal issue reaches resolution, full moon in Cancer. This is the first time we've seen this card um, in these reads. A full moon, oh, sorry, a personal issue reaches resolution. Yeah, so I really feel that that's the case, that this is more about 
like I was just saying, <laughs> thanks card. <laughs> I love it when that happens. Uh, this is about you getting that like that break that like it's it's it, the way that I see it honestly when it comes to energies like this for us is like uh, when the storm ends, when the clouds part and the sun comes in, that kind of thing. That's what it feels like. A fiery climax approaches, a personal issue reaches re resolution. This feels very internal. Don't let your past hold you back. Meaning don't let the first 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70 years of your life dictate what goes next, what comes next. Because what comes next is, um, is divine order, is your connection with your soul, with your spirit, is your connection with being a, a, a light worker. And there's still things that are getting figured out, but it starts with you, Aquarius, beautiful Aquarians here. Um, and you're just gonna, I'm, I'm hearing, you're just gonna know what to do. You're gonna know what to do. Um, did we have this here? Oh yeah, know what to do. <laughs> You're gonna know what to do. That is so funny, it was buried. I'm like, I'm hearing know what to do. Okay, thanks Uriel. Know what to do, Uriel's coming in. You're gonna know what to do. We're gonna guide you into the, more into that. You're gonna feel into that. Maybe even this full moon, this full moon is so potent. It's so intense. Um, definitely feeling it tonight and tomorrow is going to feel it's it's this radiating energy with this full moon very very intense uh so more of that energy coming in uh in these next few days and leading into march to tell us what to be the catalyst for change uh, to 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 know what to do to have that direction that motivation that like giddy up and go kind of thing because we all have that like hangman hermit type energy that you know keeps us kind of going hmm, 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 and, and watching and observing and thinking and processing and then there's that time where it's like now it's go time and it feels like that's what this is um don't let that past hold you back nothing is set in stone you're there's still incoming energies there's still um evolution i'm hearing your own processes and energies that that trigger you that hold you back i feel are gonna lose their strength which is awesome 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 because what normally would would get your hackles up would irritate you stuff like that that would cause you to be distracted and annoyed and that kind of stuff it's just you're just gonna be like huh oh, whatever and move on. You're just not gonna allow it to, to suck you in, you know, that sort of thing. Okay, moving on. Let's see what the heart of fairy has to say for us because uh, this, they're very, it's all, the fae are very spiritual. The heart of fairy talked is about archetypes and our journey and what goes on within the inner and the outer worlds with relationships mostly but it's just it's about our journey that's why it's called the heart of fairy it's a heart of fairy oracle by brian froud his other oracle is the the fairies oracle this one is the heart of fairy oracle and has a, a bit there's some overlap between the two but mostly uh it's there's different messages here with even the same the same fay and we have our card the messenger <laughs> card number 16 the messenger that's hilarious so we've got the archangel known as the messenger gabriel twice and then i pull the messenger card <laughs> oh goodness that's hilarious <laughs> Okay. That is funny. <laughs> so let's get into the messenger. Straight from the book, card number 16. 
Oh, almost right to it. Oh no, that's 34, not 14. I'm like, really? That's kind of far back. Okay, here we go. Uh, confusion, mischief, gossip. The messenger fits between the fairy courts delivering messages and whispering gossip and news to all. He can be a force of good intentions or mischief. Uh, there is nothing he likes more than a complication where one isn't necessary. Forever ready to tell you what someone else thinks, especially about you, he causes trouble that always, what? He can't, sorry, I lost my place. He causes trouble, but always with a with an ah uh, with the excuse sorry I, that's the word i'm like what does that say uh i just thought you should know or i'm just trying to be helpful while making sure that whatever it is he tells you causes dismay or confusion the messenger loves a good laugh at someone else's expense if he turns up in your reading, make sure you verify what people are telling you, especially about how someone feels or about any aspect of your relationship. Gossip can be irres irresistible, but the hurt it causes is not so easily mended. Be aware of the messenger in your life and take what he tells you with more than a grain of salt. Okay, so... The only thing I, I what I'm thinking here is with this messenger in regards to what it says with the uh, with the uh, the description there is like don't like the messenger is I don't know that the messenger is anyone anybody in particular in your life that there is a gossip or there is somebody who maybe there's somebody who's very like ugh, crystals ugh, energy healing oh it's all bullshit and psychics don't exist and that tarot shit is you know like that kind of person maybe maybe it's a, a motherly figure or a grandmother or aunt something like that a maternal divine feminine um, that kind of instilled in you, like that stuff is woo woo and hocus pocus and all that stuff, because that could be the past that's holding you back. But I think if it's not that person, or maybe that person's even crossed over, it's still your echoing energy from this person. But um, it, it's just you I'm hearing, this messenger is you that gets in your head that says stuff that's that gets you distracted, that you're kind of, I think sometimes with empaths and people who are really telepathic and psychic will pick up on the energies of other people and what they're thinking and feeling. And we can get really distracted by that. So I'm definitely picking up on this. Yeah, like I'm looking at this don't let the past hold you back card and the messenger right next to each other and it feels to me like they're connected. Like this is a like an internal dialogue and or from a, a, a certain somebody that or somebody's that put this in, but I'm feeling maybe one person in particular that just, you know, throughout time throughout life you just stuff that you've heard and whatever just has this energy about if i can't see it feel it touch it then it doesn't exist and anybody who says you know anything about angels or or even you know ascended masters even like jesus or or any of that kind of stuff is just bullshit. then this is the type of energy <laughs> that we need to move on from that we need to that we need to release because definitely spirit and soul and and guides and guardians and all sorts of amazing help for us exists in the world and in the universe and to deny that denies our own evolution period 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 you never hear of some ascended master who wasn't a spiritual person. <laughs> I mean, that's just like so silly, right? Like you never hear of this, like, it just doesn't happen. 
So anybody who is enlightened is spiritual and is in contact. It's so funny. It's kind of like revere Jesus, revere Buddha. And then, um, and then at the same time, there's no such thing. And that's the kind of thing. It makes no sense, makes no sense. So it's very confusing um, because it's like on one hand, fear it, revere it. But on the other hand, it doesn't exist is kind of like this message that we get in, in our world and society, especially as children, it's very confusing. So as children, we're very connected to spirit. We can see through the veil. They we can hear them. Like I was five years old and I was giving psychic angel messages to people, roomfuls of people. And, um, and it was very natural for me because I could feel just like I do now I did that. But for 30, some five, 40 years in between, I didn't do any of that stuff because life. So I understand this. And it's not that like I, I pushed it away or I didn't believe in it. it was just not a part of my world because I was so preoccupied with with regular life, matrix life and being a sick person and survival until my very guides came to me and said, uh, we're going to change now. Time to change now. And everything changed, changed. But it had to come for me. I had to be like, what's happening? What's going on? Like, like like seeing a little thread and pulling on it, you know, like tell me what this is, is, is the energy here. So, so really with the messenger, that's what I'm getting. I, I don't, you know, there could be people in your life that are very gossipy. I'm also feeling like complainers and that's kind of falling in the, into the complaint. So those people might, so there may be one or two people in your life that are just like incessant complainers and also gossip, gossip. So they complain and gossip at the same time. Um, this could be a sister, a best friend, feeling of being more feminine than masculine. Um, if it's on the masculine side, it's just somebody being very negative, um, negative information. It's like the news, the negative news coming your way. Did you hear the horrible thing that happened in the world today? Like that kind of thing. And then there's the, then there's the ones that are, are just like, you know, complaining about just their own particular life and work and people and body and this and that. And it's just never, ever change the same thing all the time. You know, all that kind of energy. So there's that. But first and foremost, so think about that. And then first and foremost, just think about what goes on. What's the messages that you're sending yourself, yourself and your body? What are those messages? Are they loving? Are they peaceful? Are they, are they blissful? Are they connected to spirit? Are they loving your body or the messages um, negative and like trying to take you away from your soul kind of stuff. Okay. So let's move on and get into tarot. We're going to get in with the, uh, wild unknown tarot first and clarify with the angel oracle. Uh -oh. oh my gosh. <laughs> ah. Was the sun card, by the way. We'll see if that comes out again. I like the sun card a lot. So I'd like to see it come out again, but we will, we will see. So really shuffling is around and I like piles because I can, it just kind of speaks to me. Normally more for Oracle than tarot, but shuffle them together. Let's do it, Aquarius. You excited? I'm excited. I'm excited. First card. The hangman in reverse. That's how he looks straight up. And that's in reverse. Okay. Next. 
the wheel of fortune in reverse. Why is that? Upset? So the hangman, the wheel of fortune coming in hot right off the top with a couple of major arcana cards. The um, the ten the the twelve card and the ten card, the hangman and the wheel of fortune. Next, another another major arcana card. Oddly enough, the moon with our moon reading here coming out in reverse. Next is the eight of wands straight up. Next is the three of cups in reverse. Ace of Pentacles in reverse. Uh, Father of Wands in reverse. Nope, hearing straight up. And Ace of Cups. in reverse. Okay. Hangman, Wheel of Fortune, and the Moon first up, all in reverse. Three of Cups, Ace of Pentacles, Father of Wands, and Ace of Cups. All right, so just taking it in here for a minute. <laughs> so the Hangman, um, in reverse. getting ready to change that hang, hanged man status, that stasis space and ready to fly, ready to move, I'm hearing. The Wheel of Fortune is in reverse. I love this card, by the way. The moon on top, the sun on the bottom, and that owl, and we're in reverse here. So, The reason why we're in reverse here with this is coming into the light, coming into the light, getting the messages coming into the light. The 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 bat from the hangman, he's he's seeing a different perspective and he is tired of the dark and he wants to go into the light. That's what I just heard. The moon in reverse. Yeah, this moon, I'm hearing this moon is really gonna turn things around for you. Really gonna, this full moon is really gonna, it's like gonna be this reset. So as much as you can be on top of that intentionally with your own energy for reset, for reset, I'm gonna have you do what a few of the other signs have been told to do. One was, or what it was, the couple of things, excuse me directly from Archangel Gabriel, as a matter of fact. So the first thing is write down, I surrender, just on a piece of paper all by itself. And then write down your concerns. We're gonna call them concerns, not worries, not stresses, not anxiety, because those are all very triggering, <laughs> make it worse, I think. So your concerns, what are your concerns? of what's going on right now and what do we need to release and let go of and just hand it over to our to our divine counterparts and so we can focus on what we can actually do and control now in the moment and how we can move forward with our um inner passions connected to our our uh um inner child because it's going to be really intense. 
going to be really intense. It is going to feel like lightning hitting on the top of your head. You might have some headaches. You might have some ear disturbances. You may get dripping and it, it's, it's all third eye stuff. I'm really feeling big time third eye. Like look at this hangman in his eyes. <laughs> Whoa. And that comes from uh, just third eye opening up our regular two eyes so we can see past the illusion and into the infinite of who and what we are and creation and all that good stuff. When our third eye really, really starts to open, it can be quite uncomfortable and painful, actually. Um, it's one of the meditations I'm going to be doing for the third eye. But I'm really feeling that even here with this sun, I'm feeling the third eye right there. Just um, This three of cups, um, This three of cups in reverse is really showing me mind, body, spirit, mind, body, spirit, showing me upper, lower mind, body, spirit. So the, the higher self is needing to drop down into the lower, into the physical, and then mind, body, spirit into the light. Because you can see those birds are right around the sun, right there. So the birdies are around the sun, mind, body, spirit of the higher, going into mind, body, spirit of the lower, and the sun. So we have a couple of, of things here with the sun, a couple of things here with the moon. We have two aces um, bookending the father of wands and really feeling some heavy Archangel Michael energy here too. He's been showing up a lot for people in these reads that are like, we're ready, we're coming, we're, we're opening up into a new, a new shift, a new paradigm. Remember a fiery climax. Um, I know we might not look like Archangel Michael, but this is the energy that I'm getting and just got guides and guardians in general um, as well. Uh, really coming in and being divinely you know, with these two, with these two aces, they're upside down. So, so it's like that, again, that, that third eye, that focus, that, that what's going on, I'm super intentional. Um, and then this ace of, of cups and it's upside down. So it's like, again, those cups upside down with the energy coming in down from above, down from above, and just washing over you. Because this can be this ace of, of cups or water, very healing. But it's like, when it's up, it's like what you can hold on to and sustain. When it's down, it's like what needs to clear, what needs to wash over you, is what I feel always with this ace of cups. So I really like it that it's in reverse. It makes sense it's in reverse. I was told to keep it in reverse and, um, you know, representing you going forward, really taking charge um, of yourself and your energy and uh, what and how you're going to connect and clear your energy, heal your energy yourself or working with others, people like myself or somebody else, wherever you're guided, wherever you're guided. But very, very uh, potent cards here. Very telling the hangman, starting with the hangman in reverse, like, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm in transition of, of this position now in transition of this position now going into the light see this see how they're both light at the top even though they're both in reverse and they're both dark at the top when they're straight up so they're in reverse and both light at the top saying going into the light even same thing here with the moon in reverse. Not only is this like a same really potent moon, but look, light at the top, dark at the bottom. So there you go. Bringing in the light from, the, from above through the darkness and dropping that straight into you, into the light, into the light. You are light, light coming in, into you. All right. 
see what we got here. Eight of fire in reverse, 10 of fire up, king of earth reversed, king of, oh, knight of earth, king of earth, earth reversed, interesting. Six of earth reversed, king of water reversed, seven of water reversed, 10 of air reversed. So over the uh, the eight, or sorry, the hangman, we have the eight of fire and, and representing a lot of energy, a lot of energy coming in, a lot of fast moving energy, a lot happening at once. It even says there are a lot happening at once. New energy coming in with this eight of fire representing the infinity and you connecting with your infinity with all of this energy coming in from above. Again, a lot of light. The ten of fire. Ten of fire, again, a lot going on and things. Things needing to get into balance energetically. Let me get that out. There's just a lot with these cards, but um, energy healing, stress really said stress related health issues with this. So I'm feeling like somebody coming in, somebody there's, it's just hard to make it. I may want to like, there's a, there's a dragon up here and there's a dragon down here. And one is taking care of the other to help sort things out, help you sort out the energy. So, so you may really want to consider energy healing again, I would recommend me, but um, if you're guided elsewhere, whatever, but there's a lot here. It's kind of like busy, like this wheel of fortune. And, and this is coming in to say like the 10 with the help, the 10 of fire coming in to say, we need to split this energy up that's coming in and get rid of the old and bring in the new. Um, next with the, the moon, we have the night of earth take time to bustle, buckle down and get things done, honor your commitments, a guardian angel. So here, so what I'm really feeling here is, um, I'm just hearing, seeing through the darkness, seeing through the illusion, allowing for the connection with your guardian angel. If you don't already have that, then that meditation I told you about would be fantastic. I just got shown that. It's a great meditation for, for meeting your guardian angel. It's really, really beautiful, really beautiful. Um, and this is a guardian angel card, Knight of Earth. So it's like saying, you know, you're on earth, I'm on earth with you. I'm your knight, I, I am your knight, I am your protector. Um, and then we have king of earth um, over this eight of wands here. And you having the, you really feeling that, you really feeling that, that you are, that you have this divine connection that you are taken care of that you um that when you're in a certain zone that it is like magic that it is like magic so it's not like it's that that's not a part of your world um i feel that and we're switching the six of earth I've got so many of these in reverse but I'm feeling the six of earth needs to be straight up against or balanced with those scales. And it's talking about having, um, having new opportunities, having different kinds of funds coming in that like from different sources, um, new opportunities, uh, with this energy coming in, it's just going to open up things for you. Uh, 
king of water with that ace of pentacles. Open up your heart and mind to those around you, trustworthy and helpful advice, char charity work. So I feel with this in reverse that it's just like, <sighs> yeah, <laughs> that's hilarious. Um, Cause right here with the king of earth, he, it just, it's just the, the little blurb at the bottom, but it's, it's helping me to get this. It says, open your heart and mind to those around you, trustworthy and heartfelt advice, charity work. And then here it says a complex decision and need to do research stop procrastinating. And that's over this king of wands that is like this archangel Michael and guardian angel energy, you know, really potent. Um, energy coming from above, but grounded here with you to help you. And that snake energy to be able to go wherever. Um, but what I'm seeing here with this is like your, your readiness for healing and working with other people and feeling really, you know, like you could trust that sort of thing is not, you're not there yet, but that it's definitely like part of what's going to go on for you but it says like the next card here a complex decision and need to do research and stop procrastinating with this seven of water right after this king of water um together as a set here so really telling me like like when it's time you'll know and in the meantime learn and feel into it as much as you can so this will help you to feel like okay i i checked all the boxes and and I feel good about this sort of thing no matter who and what what you do or who you work with it's more about um being comfortable and letting yourself go surrendering and you know having faith in the process it's however you're going to go forward and not being resistant so it's better to wait and to um, take things in, do some research, read around, whatever you, it is you have to do and however you're guided on this path to healing, to self-healing, to clearing out energy, because I'm seeing that that's really imp important with you because, and, and, um, because it will free up this, this need to create, remember to be a leader, to, to use your, your, um, to do writing or creativity, any of that stuff. So it's kind of like a bottleneck here going on. It's like you, you know, the guidance coming in to help you and then you kind of going, okay, well, what's what, what do I feel and, and all that good stuff. Um, but ready to move in that direction. Because remember the hangman isn't, hang, is like ready to take flight, go into the light and be guided and be guided by the by your guardian angels with this king of earth and um i'm sorry with this knight of earth and the king of earth coming in right behind it to really support that so it's like you have a guardian angel and then you're going to have like somebody in the physical to to match that energy of what you're feeling from the other side for you so you'll be able to step in faith a little bit more step by step like i said six of earth we decided we're turning over on um, over those so over the three of cups so remember mind body spirit and the richness of that coming through and that being an opportunity for you to move forward in your in your journey lastly 10 of air, the end of a difficult solution, embrace the change, expects things to get better now, recovering from an addiction or, um, or bad energy people around you that were stuck. Um, so this, and again, so that is your 10 of air and, and recovering from a bad situation and coming into a new space with this ACE, you know, washing you, clearing you kind of thing, like we talked about. Um, So it's like once you get through this and make your decisions about how you're going to go forward in in your in your healing and your in your spirituality and your connections and how, whatever that means and works for you, it's going to mark an end of a lot of difficulty physically, emotionally, um, financially, energetically. Like so much, you're just going to be like, whoa. And I don't think it's going to take that that long. 
Honestly, I really, really don't. I think this is very powerful energy coming in. And I think that you're going to connect all these dots. And I think that there's already like, there's been these bet breadcrumbs and you're just like, or these little treasures and you've been collecting them and just kind of like, Hey man, just like, I'm not sure what I'm doing with this and I'm not making any decisions and I'm not doing any, I'm not getting crazy here just yet. I don't know what I'm doing and until I do. And that's definitely coming up with this full moon and, and you're going to be um, assured in that way. All you got to do is let go and decide that you're going to go in that direction. So baby steps, baby steps. You could start with me and my information and my and my um, and what I have on my website as far as it's ebooks and the meditations just to kind of wet the whistle, get dip a toe in. Um, they are, it is very real, true information in the in the ebooks. You'll resonate with it, I'm sure. The stuff with the um with the meditations, they're deep, they're astral, they're they're really dynamic, they are self-healing and and a great place to start um just in the ones that i've done in these last few days and there will be more to come super excited about it all of it to help us move forward evolve clear energy be less dense be more light be more into the light remember what the um which one was it um, <coughs> a personal issue reaches resolution so this is this is uh, these two together, hangman. So so it's like you're not going to be hung up anymore. You're 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 going to answer, or maybe this is the thing. You're going to answer your own questions. You're going to know what to do and how to move forward. Okay, that's it. Remember, you know what to do. Be reminded again. We do have this card. <laughs> Uriel's like you do have this card. You do know what to do. It's hilarious. Um, so thank you so much, Aquarius, for being here. I really hope that this reading sheds some light, that you resonate with it, that there's helpful um, information here for you. Remember my website, thehealingbutterfly.org, um, and and uh, anything there that is helpful for you. Again, it's all free. So partake as much as you're being guided to um and reach out to me personally if you'd like to work with me for private reads or energy healing for you your pets your family in any shape way or form way and form i really appreciate your time and energy being here receiving these messages as i am a messenger for the divine and all i want is your well-being and i really do love you already so with that said infinite love and blessings don't forget the key is to create I love you already and always live in love until next time. See you later. Bye.